jumping for joy in my spaceship. I bet you wish you had a spaceship to jump in joy for. Anyway, this is Starbound. And before you ask, yes, I understand that I said in a Terraria video that, oh, I wish someone would buy me Starbound, but not really. Well, guess what? I bought it myself, so there you go. Now you don't have to worry about it. Ha. Anyway, this is Starbound. And I have my little robot. And I got a um, Cyberman head on. So there, there you go, Doctor Who fans. And my name is also Doctor... I can't read my name because my FPS counter. Also, I am using a new recording software, so if things get a little buggy-wuggy, I'm sorry. I have to test it somehow. But anyway, let's open up this thingy. Actually, wait, hang on. We shouldn't open that thingy up real quick. Uh, I remember how to... Oh, yeah, I am naked right now. Just because I thought it would look cool because um, I'm kind of a Cyberman, and they don't wear clothes. But I do need clothes on because the world down there is very cold and very hostile. So I'm going to put these clothes on. I'm just a normal robot. I'm not a Cyberman now. Don. Okay, um, let me remember how to get to my... That's crafting. Oh, I don't remember how to get to my... That's not the right thing. Nope, didn't find anything. Okay, which which button was it? <laughs> I forgot which button. There, I'll just go to do this thing. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and read this little thing. As one of the few glitch to achieve self-awareness, you were forced to flee your home with little preparation. Your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet. Begin, being an outcast is unsympathetic. In unsympathetic territory is hard. Being an outcast stuck in space is even harder. You find... Next page. You find... Wait, what? You find... But with self-awareness comes self-preservation. No longer tired from... Tied to the hive mind. You have the compa... Capac compatibility. Dang to think independently and get yourself out of this mess, at least in theory. It's time to find out just how useful sentient thoughts can be. So, what I'm getting from this is, actually I am a Cyberman, and I just kind of broke. That's interesting because Cybermen don't break. <laughs> okay, fine then, the book, that's, you just want to end on that? Fine, I don't care. Can I go back to my library? Oh. I guess I should probably read the button. Statement created by a mysterious race. The glitch were designed to serve a single purpose. A race controlled by, the sing by a single hive mind. Tireless workers who could build and create critical and glitch. The glitch were left to expand and evolve. Eventually disconstructing themselves to discover that they were artificial. Glitch understanding of the world led to the realization that an artificial species must have a creator. Special spectacle. Sorry, this, this text is really hard to read for me. This discovery triggered the self-awareness in the glitch. Some accepted their role in the universe. Others began to question it. Melancholy I really have a hard time reading. Okay, you know what? I can't read this text for beans. And I'm just, and I'm just horrible at reading in general. I don't read. <laughs> All right, anyway, I can kind of read this. Time for an upgrade. As one of the few glitch to achieve self-awareness, you were forced to flee your home with little preparation. Your ship has run out of fuel on an, in an orbit of an unknown planet. Before setting out in search of fuel, search your ship's storage for a matter manipulator. Press E to interact with objects. Rewards 10 bits! Okay. So, this is our little little locker thing that I can put stuffage in. Oh, look what we have! A flashlight. Well, I'm going to put that there. Torches. Well, uh, I'll put torches right here. And this thing we'll keep for later. And this thing we'll keep for later. 
And this thing I'll put right here. Actually, I should probably switch those. And that thing is our matter manipulator. Quest complete! Yes, so see, if you can't tell, the, one of the differences from Terraria, if you don't count the, you know, space thing, is... Oh, we also are hungry. I should probably go down to the planet and get some food. Anyway, this has quests, which we get rewards for. Although, how a robot can be hungry is rather interesting to me. I'm kind of confused by that. Okay, whatever. Shop class. It's time to search the planet for fuel. To survive down there, you'll need tools. To produce tools, you'll need to make yourself a crafting table. Use your ship's teleportation platform to beam down. Except... Beam me down, Scotty! Woo! I'm ready! Come on! Beam me! There we go. Sorry about uh, just something that I have to deal with. Okay, so we are here! I've never actually been down on that. that guy and doesn't look friendly. Should probably have my job. Holy cow, this sword is huge! Look at it, I'm just like, yeah, I can hold this thing, no problem. Oh, great. This would be a perfect time to rain, wouldn't it? <sighs> what is this? Is this a tree? I think this is a tree. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. So yes, I know a l I have a little grasp on... Uh oh. Please don't come near me. Fall! 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 There you go! Okay, this is a tree. A weird tentacle tree. Man, Japan must love this place. I joke, I joke. Please, Japan, don't hate me. Oh, you're you probably weren't a friend. You probably were friendly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I kind of killed that guy without thinking he was not friendly. Or he could have been friendly. I wouldn't have known. I feel bad now. Come on. Yay! Let's chop down more. Let's ruin more of the environment. You know why? Because reasons. Actually, I'm not seeing any, like, um... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. You don't... I don't think you get tree saplings from trees. You just have to basically abandon the planet once it's done. Is my understanding. But that's just my understanding. I may be wrong on that. Which I hope I am, but probably not. Okay, hang on, hang on. I want to kind of step away from that. Oh. Because some of those things will kill you. I don't trust them. Boop. Although, wait, why does a robot need air? None of this makes sense! This game, you make no sense! Whoa! That hurt. Yeah, uh, bud, you're just gonna stay down there. I'm not gonna bother with you. Oh, hey, coal for our ship. This actually will come in handy. La -da 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 -da. Is it going? I think the coal need. Okay, yeah. I don't think I can harvest coal with this thing. Oh, yes I can. Look at me, with my smart brain. Yo, bud. Come on! Come at me! Yeah, come at my big sword! Ooh. Money. <laughs> Ooh, money! The one thing you can get me to swim in a disgusting pink pond for. This, uh, it's raining again? Really? I really like this whole, uh, matter thing, manipulator. I like that. Because I just sit here and let it do all the work. I just stand here just like, beep boop. Beep boop. Yep, mm-hmm. Just gonna let you do all the work, man matter manipulator. I'm just gonna, you know, walk around at a ginger pace, just like... Okay, are you guys gonna hurt me? 
No. Okay, so I shouldn't hurt you. I'm sorry. I was kind of a jerk. Ooh, what's down here? This is another reason why I love this game, because uh, I don't have to have torches if I just want to explore a little cave. Now, torches are kind of needed, because... If you get, like... Now, this is a tree! The tentacle things were not... Ow! Oh, no. Oh, no. Get away. Nope. Nope. No, 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 nope. Nope. Not having this. Nope. I'm not doing this. Not doing this today. Run, buddies! Never mind. Carry on. Okay, we got 54 wood. I imagine we're good. So, let's enter the crafting table. Okay. This planet doesn't seem to be too cold. Okay, wooden crafting table. What do I need? Oh, any wood planks? Okay. Alright, let's craft up some wood! There we go. And craft that. Okay, we need some bows. So we need plant fiber as well. Oh. Yeah, see, that's what I was getting to. I was best about to get to the next thing. Okay, plant fiber is right here. Oh, that's cool. It, like, softens the music when you're underwater. That is less work for me. Thank you. That's really nice. That's a really nice touch. I still don't get the why I need to breathe underwater. I'm a robot. I mean, I understand why, because I'm, I would be OP class, but come on. Robot. I'm a robot! And this ground is disgustingly mushy. Listen to this. Ew. Nasty. Okay, we should probably find a nice place to set up home base. Probably right here. This is probably a nice little place. Boop. And I need, a, I think, a hammer for this. Or something. Go ahead and chop this tree down, because it's in my way! Boop -a -doop -boop -boop. Man, this tree takes forever! Come on, tree! Fall! I know you love living, but I need you to die. I love you, tree. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Okay. So now what we need is a bow. What was that? Did you hear that? I heard that. It was not cool. Okay, my inventory. Let's go in here. And... Let's uh, put you right here. You... Right in there. Same with you. I'm surprised my character, like, doesn't have to worry about rust or anything. Like, he should worry about rust, in my opinion. Okay. So, now what we should do... That just does not sound pleasant. Okay. You gonna hurt me, bud? Because I will fire my bow in your face. I will do it. Don't test me. Yaw! Wow, I can jump really high. Okay, where's that Where's that shooting guy? I want to shoot him in the face. Where'd he go? I guess he left. He knew he was outmatched and outclassed by his superior, Dr. Modus. Or Mobus, I can't read my name, I'm sorry. And I can't remember it. Mobus, I think it's Mobus. It was the planet where the, it was the dimension where the Cybermen came from. I was thinking Modok. Oh, look at you. Well, uh, you got shot in the face. There you went. Okay, hang on. Oops, missed. There we go. Whoops. Ow, I didn't mean to shoot you in the face. You just got in the way, pal. Okay, get some meat. 
Oh, hey, you're not ha you're not mad at me anymore. Thank you. Now I'm gonna shoot you in the face for being mad at me in the first place. Hey. There we go. Okay, now that we have food, um, let's try it. Oh yeah, I kind of fell down a cliff, didn't I? Whoops! All right, I uh, have no idea how I'm gonna. Get I guess I should probably um, start digging. That was kind of oversight on my part. <laughs> I just got so excited. <laughs> oh well, we needed this anyway. Onward and upward! Oh! Ow! Hey! Hey! I don't need to die yet, pal! So yes, if I do die, I will respawn. Uh, however, I won't be me. I'll just be another Dr. Mobus. Modas. Modas. Yeah, it's Modas. I can read now. I can read! Holy cow! It's a miracle! Let's just carve our way through this mountain. I really kind of like that you can, you know, have multiple things going on and just move your cursor every so often to make sure they don't, like, de-break or whatever you'd want to call it. That's kind of something I like about, like, this other than Minecraft, you know, because Minecraft doesn't let you do this and Terraria doesn't let you do this. But this game does. That's nice. Oh my! Well, I don't know what you are, but I want you in my pockets. Get in my pants! Get in my pants! I don't know what you are, but I want you in my pants. Right now. Uh-oh. We got company! It's a trap! That actually is kind of appropriate. <laughs> Considering I'm in space. Come on. Come on. Well, we gotta grab it. There we go. Onward! This is gonna take a while. Probably should cut this out of the episode. Probably won't though, cause I'm lazy. And besides, you guys deserve to see the full effect of this game in your faces. You need to see how amazing this game is. And I bet you're all wondering also, um, since I've got this game now, am I going to stop playing My Little Terraria? The answer is no. You'll just get double the Terraria. Or Terraria-like experiences. So I hope you like Terraria! Or Terraria-like experiences! Cause you're gonna get a whole two... Two things of them. Yeah! So, happy birthday, Christmas, Hanukkah, Juwanza, Easter, uh, Valentine, St. Patrick's, Governor Day, I don't know. Happy holiday of random choice, whichever you want to do. I'm probably going to come back and get that last one later. Because it just takes too long to mine it. With this thing. I could make a pickaxe. But then, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to do this. Really slowly. And be like, I'm lazy. Alright. Yes, our time is up. However, I want to finish this. 
little, little dilemma here. There we go. That I put myself into. Note to self! Don't jump off cliffs! It's not a good idea! Also, we should probably look for houses next episode. Because, like, there are inhabitants, there can be inhabitants to this world. And, um, if you find them, you could have some, you know, you could raid their house, like I'm going to do. We all know I'm going to do that. Come on. We all know it. Like, seriously, it's me. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to raid your house. <laughs> I should probably build a, um, door, shouldn't I? Can I build the door? Guess not. I'm afraid to go back because I know there's stuff that's going to kill me. And the fact that I'm kind of dying. Can I just eat this raw meat? Is it raw meat? Raw alien meat! Weird stringy alien meat. Yum. So, uh, do I just click? I guess I can't eat it yet. So I guess what I'll have to do... This temp this planet's temperature seems pretty warm, so I, I really don't need a fire. Because you can, you can die by um, freezing to death in this game. Which I love, because I've always wanted a game that lets me do that. I love survival elements in a game. Makes me happy. So, I'm pleased by that. I also have to keep my food up as well. I'm not sure where my food bar is, though. I think it's my green bar up there. I could be wrong, though. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to just record this and fast forward through it. Because this is taking a long time. So, uh, be back in a sec. Okay, apparently I died. I think I overheated or something. But, yeah, that's what I was basically just, you know. I was like, hey, wait a minute. You better make me my Dalek. Or not Dalek, my Cyberman. Or I'm going to be mad at you. Okay, so apparently what happened was I was digging and um, the temperature started to drop. And my screen was going white and I was just like, what the heck's going on here? And, yeah, apparently I either died of starvation or I think it was cold. I think I died of cold, which is... Again, makes no sense to me, but ever. Alright, well, anyway, we're back on the ship. We're back where we started, so... Ow. Ah, I'm horrible at aiming this thing! You know what? Uh oh. Okay, where is he? Where's the other guy? He was here a minute ago. Find them. See if I care. Anyway, so uh, nothing adventurous happened while I was, you know. Mining, as you saw, I fast forwarded through it, but eh, it wasn't bad. It was enjoyable, except for the part where I died, but you know, stuff happens. Okay. I guess we could have ended off back at my ship. Probably, you know, could have. Okay, hang on, let me. All right, yes, I know this episode's going a little bit over. I say a little bit, and it's going to go a lot over. And I'm sorry for that. Probably, if I hadn't fallen down that cliff, we probably would have had a house by now. And so I'm sorry for that. It's my fault. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Hang on. 
I may get rid of that tree. Tree's in my way. Tentacle tree, why are you in my way? Alright, so we have learned a few things about this planet. We've learned that nights are cold. The day is fine, but the nights are freezing. So thank you, game, for teaching me that hard, hard life lesson. Alright, I'll take all this, thank you. Okay. There we go. Okay, and now what we need are... Let's see. You see my height is about this high? See, right about. We'll find that. That's not right. That's uh, a little messed up. <laughs> Let me fix that. That's going to annoy me. I just have to figure out what I did wrong. But at least we're protected from the uh, elements. Partially. Not seeing my house is perfect. Because it's not. Look at this. Look at this horrible thing. The freaking nature that I've built. Okay, hang on. It looks like it's the same, but it's not. It's not... It's not perfect. It's freaking me out. I can't... For the life of me, figure out what it is. Okay, this thing... Needs to be that. And then... That needs to go there. That needs to do that. But it doesn't look right! Okay. No, it doesn't look right! It's freaking me out! I don't know what it is! Dang it! Oh, I hate myself. <laughs> I can't figure it out! It's something that's bugging me! I just want to burn it down and build again. Ah! Error! Error! <laughs> exterminate! Exterminate! Probably should name myself Dr. Dalek. I was thinking of that, but... Eh. I thought since I'm a Cyberman, I probably shouldn't. What am I missing here? Oh, wait a minute. I wish I could, like, count the blocks. Because then I can make it symmetry. Oh, I hate myself. I think I'm missing, like, one... Right here. Let's just say that's there. No, this isn't right. Uh, okay, I'll figure it out off camera, guys, because this is going to take me a while. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my episode of Starbound, and I hope you enjoy the series. It is, you know, going to be here every Wednesday, um, at least in, for this foreseeable future. Uh, as long as you guys like it, I'll keep playing it. So, uh, yeah. Anyway guys, I'm Ultramag64, remember don't feed the parish sprites, and as always, happy gaming! I hate your house, I hate you so much, I'll figure this out, don't worry.